one thing that determines whether you move from one state of perfection to the other or one level of deterioration to the other is how you think. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. In our world, it's either you see the cup half full or half empty. This was why when Jesus Christ came, the Bible gave us words of encouragement. In the New Testament, the apostle, the prophet, they speak life to people around them. In one of the words of uh, Paul, he said to the Colossians, Ye are complete in Christ. When you look at your world, the environment you live in, there are enough situations to make you to cringe with fear. Bad governance, terrorism, hooliganism, corruption, and name it. Robbery, stealing, wickedness of all kinds, sickness, bereavement. This represents an incomplete process, deterioration. On the other side, we see righteousness, holiness, wellness, health, provision, abundance, promotion, glory. In your journey through life, what you give yourself to multiply. What you give your attention to, your imagination, is created abundantly around you. We have the spirit world. When you have the thoughts prepared, the spirit world go forth and bring the physical evidence to you. This is why, just by the things that goes on in your world, you speak the word of Paul. He said, "Ye are complete in Christ," which means nothing broken, nothing missing. Everything is formed, perfected complete in you. Some of us will say, why should I speak the things I don't see? The real you is a spiritual being. If the real you, the spiritual man is whole, everything around you will flow towards the wholeness. It is this same wholeness that pick, pick you up and set you into eternity in the presence of God. But when you see the satanic view, it drags you over time into eternal hell. Today, I present to you life and death. What do you see? You become that which you see. I am complete in Christ. How about you?